Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new weekly vlog. It's actually Tuesday today because it was bank holiday weekend and you best believe that yesterday, do you know what, that's the most hungover I've been in a while. I must have ate a, a lot of calories, probably close to 10,000 calorie challenge. We were just so hungover, I couldn't even function with life. So here I am, it's Tuesday kind of had a two day hangover this morning I was really struggling to get going but I did my workout and I've had a busy morning but yeah I thought I'd jump on introduce the weekly vlog what have I got going on this week hmm okay so don't growl so obviously it's Tuesday already it was a long weekend Monday off for bank holiday I've got quite a bit of work to do over the next few days and then Friday oh Jordan's ringing me he's at the shop and he's getting me some lunch one minute just a pasta pot just a pasta pot and a coffee. Okay, I went for a pasta pot. Um, so obviously it's Tuesday today. I've got work to do the next couple of days, obviously. And then Friday I actually got a really nice day because me and Alex are getting the train to Newcastle to go and see my mum and sister for lunch and for cocktails, which is just a fun time. My sister actually doesn't know that me and Alex are coming, so that'll be nice to surprise her. We're gonna have a proper girls' day, which I'm really excited for. So yeah, a bit of a short week this week, which is all fun and games, and I'm not complaining because the weather is so miserable. Like, I just think it just tricked us with that like one week of nice weather, and now it's like so dark, so dull, and not a fun time for anyone involved. However, I've got some changes that are going on in the house. I've got some things that are being transformed, so let me, turn you around and show you what I've been doing. Okay, so those of you who watch the weekly vlogs will know what this space used to look like. We had a couch here. Um, if I can find like an old video from a previous vlog, I'll insert it. These two pictures were hanging on the wall here and I had a couch there. We then used to have a mirror which went just on this wall here, but it was, let me show you actually because it's there, this mirror um, which isn't like full length it's supposed to be on the wall and we used to have it on the wall in our old flat never got around to doing it here because I used to balance it there but if I was like ever doing my makeup or shooting content or whatever I would move it here so obviously the sunlight was facing me anyway it just didn't work hi Corby Lou so we realized that I'm gonna just change this whole thing around and as you all know from previous vlogs if I get something in my head I want to do it straight away so here we are so anyway I got this new mirror which has been living downstairs for a while um, I bought it originally for it to go in this room but it was too big for the space there so we just kept it downstairs however now it fits perfectly this is from a company called Lena Mirrors on Instagram however I'll be honest I don't think I fully recommend them in my opinion um, Basically, I ordered this on Instagram after seeing loads and loads of bloggers like talking about it and saying how good it is. So I was like, okay, cool, let me order it um, because I wanted just a big, frameless, basic mirror. Um, and everyone was saying how good delivery is and that it came out within the same week. Mine took like three weeks to come and also it came with a crack here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's got a crack there I mean I could have complained and you know sent it back but it's such a big heavy mirror I just didn't think it was worth it and to be honest from a distance you can't see it at all um so I had to be really careful with that but granted all without them other little issues included it is a really nice really big mirror and it's so heavy um so it is good quality anyway so this is where the mirror is now living now which is so much better like for me filming um, and even just for getting ready, it means I'm not going to have to move it around all the time. It just looks really good here. Um, and then these pictures, I'm thinking this can go somewhere else. And I'm thinking the roses, or maybe them, I don't know which I prefer, are going to hang here next to the window. And then I want a nice little accent chair. So like, what is the material called? Is it like boogle or something? I really, I mean, I just can't pronounce anything. Um, it's like that teddy boogle whatever it's called, print. What are you eating? Oh, Kobe, don't eat that. Ow! Um, so that's what I'm thinking, like a new cute little area which I can still sit at, can still sit on my laptop, I can still film, but it's not taking up the whole room and it's going to give me so much more space because the couch used to come to here. Um, so that didn't leave me a lot of room for activities, you know? 
so yeah just thought I'd give you that little update because I'm really happy with how this is looking what have I done this morning? So this morning I've also had a bit of a wardrobe clear out and got loads of things to put on Depop. I know I sell all my stuff on eBloggers, um, but I'm also going to be putting some stuff on Depop as well. And I'm going to be using that kind of as opposed to my Instagram page where I used to sell stuff. So I use the Depop to sell like more expensive things, more luxury items that um, I wouldn't send to eBloggers. So yeah, just having a bit of a productive morning if I'm honest. Okie dokie, picture is up on the wall. Um, so now I just need to find my little chair. And I need to paint this wall to be fair. It's got like just a few little scuffs because it was always behind the couch so you couldn't see. But I just feel like this is going to be so much more practical for me. Like so much more room. And I'm very happy with it. So I got this parcel from Coco and Eve and I thought I'd show you because it's just very cute for all these self-care loving gals like me. So, just also, excuse Kobe, he's found a bone, there's fluff all over, he's ripped all his toys up, have you seen anything like it? And he's now got a bone in his mouth, which he is trying to find a hiding place for and he gets really stressed. Anyway, so they've actually just came out with some bronzing face drops, so they're like tannin drops, which you all know I love. I use tannin drops on my face all the time, so I'm really excited to try these. Um, this is what the packaging's like, and you literally just pump it into your moisturiser and apply it to your face. So I'm going to be giving this a go over the next few weeks, and like I said, I'll give you my verdict on that. We've then got a sand sand and sky um hydration boost cream i've had some of their products before i think it was one of their masks and it was really nice so i'm definitely up for trying these it smells just like really fresh um we've then got what's this a kabuki brush for putting on tan which is so handy especially like around your collarbones and on your hands i find it so much easier to put it on with a brush i used to just use like an old foundation brush it's quite good to have a dedicated fake tan brush we've then got a jelly exfoliating mitt which is a bit of me honestly i love a bit of exfoliation in the shower so i'm excited to try that we've got a, a soft velvet fake tan mitt and we've got their new body tan which is barley bronze and foam in the shade dark so this just says let me have a little look Exfoliate before use, apply to dry skin and develop for two hours or overnight for a deeper tan. I will also give this a go and let you know my thoughts on that. I always try new tans. I'm not like specific to a certain brand. We've then got a body moisturiser whip. Ooh, let's have a little look what this actually looks like in the packaging. Cute very cute indeed so if you guys haven't heard of Coco and Eve before by the way I use their hair masks and it's really good this is not an ad this is just being gifted to me but I thought I'd show you anyway so we've got the moisturizer we've then got a body mask how do you use a body mask then apply a generous layer to the thighs and bottom and allow to dry for 15 minutes Gently rinse with warm water to reveal firm, radiant skin. Wow, it's going to get our bums really firm and peachy. I will be giving that a go and reporting back on my booty. And then we've got a buffing sugar, which I'm assuming is like an exfoliator, which again, I use in the shower pretty much every single day, so that will go down a treat. Guys, I've just opened up the body scrub, and wow, look at that. It literally looks like a strawberry frozen sorbet daiquiri thing and it smells so good i'm really excited to try this good morning guys happy wednesday it is bright and early this morning and i'm actually ready that sun is lovely it's 10 past 8 and i'm about to go shooting with alex this morning let me show you my outfit my first one i'm shooting so excuse the mess in the background but i've just got this asos trench on which i don't actually know if it's online anymore because i got it quite a while ago um, we have then got this oversized hoodie from Misguided, which says Vermont. And then this is actually like a jumpsuit underneath, um, like a little unitard. And it's really nice ribbed detail. Let me see if I can show you that. There, you can kind of see. It's like nice rib. So comfortable just for like lounging around. Um, and then I'm going to chuck some boots on. I'm absolutely sweating. 
like I'm so hot right now but I know I'll be freezing once I get out side um let me show you my new sunglasses because i bought myself some new sunglasses and i absolutely love them okay here's the new sunnies i just wanted a pair of like classic sunglasses that i can wear with pretty much any outfit all my sunglasses are quite like if they're not like black they're like really light like see-through nudie ones like my norton kisses ones i don't know i just needed like a classic pair um and i really like the style of these they're from a brand called fella I think that's how you say it this is the name there it is um so that's where i got them from and they do like quite a few different colors these are the cinnamon and tortoise i think i don't know i'll link the exact ones down below anyway but really like them i'm gonna get all my stuff together head downstairs and i will probably see you when i get back from shooting because do i have a vlog when i'm out probably not I am back from shooting and I'm absolutely starving so I've just whipped myself up some brunch, got myself a coffee there, um, a slice of toast, avocado, feta, balsamic glaze, smoked salmon, salt pepper, did I say that already? I'm sure I said that, um, and lemon juice, the lemon juice is key, okay? Honestly, this is my favourite brunch ever. Like, if you've been watching the vlogs for a while you'll know that information because I basically live off this but smoked salmon is a new addition because... We're being bougie up in here. Guys, how lovely is this? When I was out shooting today, um, I was shooting like near the Keels shop. Um, there was just a nice background around there. And one of the girls that worked at Keels came out and said that she followed me and gave this to me and said like, I just want to give you this to try. Um, honestly, stuff like that is just so nice. Like she was such a lovely, lovely woman so i thought i'd show you what is in here because i'm excited to try i used to use keel's midnight recovery all the time like it was my holy grail and i haven't actually used many keel's products in a while also this little bag is very handy for traveling which we are keeping everything crossed that we can go on holiday like i don't know about anyone else but me and jordan are literally we're just waiting i just want to wait and see because i don't want to book things and then have to go through the whole fanny and on of cancelling it and being stressed so i'm just waiting out at this point but i'm just keeping my fingers crossed we can get away anyway we've got an ultra facial moisturizer really cute little travel size as well um we've got the nourishing dry body oil oh mist onto clear skin and gently massage let me have a smell of this oh it's shut let me open it i love a good body oil mm. That smells nice. That smells lovely. I bet you that's so nice on a nice natural tan. Please. And then we've got some ultra facial toner, which I've heard is really good. So I'm excited to try that. And then what is this? Daily Revive and Concentrate. Uh, revitalize and blend ginger root sunflower and tamanyu oils to help correct physical appearance of skin fatigue. So that is just so cute and so sweet of the lovely lady. Who came out of Kiehl's when I was shooting a pic to do that? Made my heart really happy and made my day. Um, I'm also actually going to show you now, while I'm here and I'm talking to you, some tops that I got from Urban Outfitters. Now, I fully got sucked in to um, a TikTok trend, I'll be totally honest. Basically, I've seen loads of girls wearing this top and all saying like, oh my god, these tops are so flattering, everyone needs them, they're from Urban Outfitters. Apparently they make your boobs look amazing and I was like, do you know what? They look like such a nice, just basic summer top. Let me get them and I'll show you. Okay, so this is them. It's literally just, this one's inside out because I've tried it on, a black top. You can see it's quite low cut. It looks a really weird shape when it's not on, but I'll try it on for you to show you. So I got it in the black and white. The white might be easier. It's like a really nice ribbed material really thick really good quality really stretchy i got them both in a size small and they came in like loads of different colors as well like um a red a baby blue i think there was a pink but i just got these two colors to start with because one i'm basic and two like i just thought i'll probably get more wear out of these but i just thought in the summer with like jogger shorts or even with like denim shorts and stuff you know when you just need a basic like base layer but I don't know I just thought it was a nice vest top okay so I'm gonna try them on and show you because I've already tried the black on and 
they're so flattering i don't know what it is about them i think it's the way it's like low cut but also like skin tight it's just really flattering especially on your boobs so let me show you these on okay so here's the black one so obviously it is quite low cut it is quite booby but i like it a lot so the back is like razor back style um, and then like I said, it's like a really stretchy, like flattering material and that waistband bit is so thick, like it literally just sits so nice around your waist and it feels so secure. Sometimes with tops like this, when they're more like low cut, I feel like my boobs are like fall out. Um, whereas this feels like really secure and tight and safe, like I feel like I could, you know, it feels very similar to a sports bra in the sense that it's like got this really thick waistband here. Um, I just absolutely love them. I feel like in the summer, with like a blazer over the top, some shorts, it's just a really nice top. So yeah, I'll leave these linked down below. Um, but I was definitely sucked into a TikTok trend and I'm happy about it. It went well. Um, plan of action for me now is to tidy up the dressing room because it's a bit of a mess. And that's right, to be honest. I need to um, send off some content for approval and little bits of like work here and there so not a lot of interest and stuff however i'll pick you up if i've got anything of interest to say okay i'm all ready to go and do my workout it's currently 20 to 3 now i'm one of them people that has to do my workout first thing in the morning otherwise i just i really put it off all day and i can't be bothered um, but I really feel like over the past few months I've got myself into a really good habit of just knowing that I'm going to get it done and it doesn't matter what time it is. I mean, nine times out of ten I do it as soon as I get up on a morning, before my shower, before I get ready. Um, but on days like today when I had to be out of the house early to go and shoot, I have to do it today. And I could wait till later, but I know that as soon as like Jordan gets home from work, I just want to like chill with him. So... Yeah, I'm going to go do my workout. I'm currently doing, um, where's my phone? Oh, it's on charge. Um, I'm currently doing Courtney Black's, um, I always do Courtney Black's workouts, like she's the absolute best. I haven't actually gone back to the gym since the gym's opened. I just haven't felt the need to because I just love doing her workouts and it's really convenient. I just go down, do it in my living room and I see amazing results from it. So I haven't really felt the need to go back to the gym yet. I will go back, but I think I'll still continue to do Courtney anyway. Um, but yeah, at the minute I'm doing her two week like leg booty challenge, which she actually did back in February, but it's still obviously on the app. Um, so I'm going back and doing it now. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm on week two and I'm a day behind because on Monday I was so hungover. I didn't even know my own name. So I definitely couldn't have done a workout. Um, but yeah, really enjoying it. I feel really good in myself. And like I said, I feel like I've just got this new, like, habit and understanding with myself that I will work out every single day once a day like at the minute I'm working out five to six times a week every single week and I have been for like how long have I been doing this for maybe like six seven weeks now and I just feel like I'm in a really good place with it and a really good mindset with it all so yeah gonna go and do my workout then I'm gonna make myself some yogurt and granola I think because I'm a bit peckish and sit down and do some editing right then that's me finished my workout just had a shower towel's still on the floor put this oversized jumper back on because i mean it's the most comfiest thing i mean look how just let's just take a minute for this outfit i mean i mean i don't quite know what to say at this point but i feel like i've been hit by a bus um that workout was so hard it was a 1,000, like, I think it was a 1,100 rep challenge, and my legs were shaking in the shower there. I was washing my face, and I was actually, like, just shivering. It was just a real stress. Anyway, put this glorious outfit back on. I'm going to put my hair in a bun, put my glasses on, because I've got a headache, and um, I'm going to go and sit on the couch with a protein yoghurt and a cup of tea, and watch some youtube while i edit all my pics from today honestly i'm so tired what time is it now it is 10 to 4 so i've got some time to kill before it's dinner time because all my day revolves around is food however i just wanted to let you all know that 
I feel like death. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I've just pulled up at the nail salon, going to get these absolutely atrocious nails sorted out before the weekend. Um, I can't believe it's Thursday already, like where on earth has this week gone? It's absolute madness. Um, but I did my workout this morning, quickly threw on a coat of my gym gear and I'm here bright and early so I'm the first one in the nail shop because I like to just get it done and get it out of the way. Um, but yeah, plan of action for the rest of the day. I've got a couple of little bits and bobs that I need to film slash shoot just like in the house. And I also need to go to the post office. Um, and just, you know, a few little bits and bobs to do. So I will bring you along with me. Okie dokie, I'm back from getting nails done. Obviously just went for my classic. French, as always, I get bubble bath. Um, OPI bubble bath as the base. And then obviously just a white tip and i usually just get gels but my nails were really short so i got acrylics um but i am home Kobe's just sat loving the sunshine out there even though it's freezing however my new trainers have arrived and look at these honestly i'm obsessed so i ordered these i'm going to be honest about god it must have been about four weeks ago now um, and they've took so long to come because I customised them. Like, so I basically, like, chose the colour of everything. Chose, like, the little details. Um, honestly, these are so nice. Jordan's got the black ones. And he says they're the most comfortable trainer ever. So, I got these. Thought I'd spice up my life and get a blue. Honestly, they're lush. So, these are the Nike Air Zoom Tempo Fly Knit. Which I obviously customised, so you can see on here. Um, that I just customised and you literally do loads of different colours and stuff which is fab and I'm pretty sure actually that I put my initials on the back but they're not there but I mean I'm not going to lose sleep over that but um, yeah going to try them on now but love them I've really been in need of some new gym trainers I haven't had any nice ones in a while and I just think these look gorge guys I cannot even tell you how comfy these are I know I haven't actually properly wore them I've only got one on but they literally feel like I'm walking on air. Jordan did say they were the most comfortable trainer ever. And like because of this bit here, it like rolls forward and it feels really like spongy. Wow, love them a lot. Very happy with these. I also sized up um, half a size. So I'm usually a five and I got a 5.5 um, because Jordan said they were quite tight. Because they're obviously like the fly knit material and these fit me perfectly. So I definitely recommend a sizing up. I'll leave the link down below to these. Um, when you click the link, it literally will just say design your own. And then you can choose the colour, the colour of your laces, the colour of the tick. Um, and make them however you want them. So yeah, absolutely love these. And I'm very excited. <laughs> oh my god, now I've got a big smear on it. Thanks a lot, Cobbs. Okay, this is the other Urban Outfitters top, by the way, the white one. So I've just had a shower, done my skincare, um, I've actually put some tan on my face, so I'm just letting that marinade away. Um, and I'm going to package up some Depop orders. So I've got some bits that I need to send, I've got all the addresses printed off here, and then I've got some bags so i'm going to just pop all these into bags and what i like to do as well um if i ever like sell something on depop or through instagram is i've got just a drawer down here you can't even see this is a bit bad i've got just a drawer down here which i obviously get sent quite a lot of products like in pr boxes and beauty stuff and it's a lot more than what i can use on my own um so i do give a lot of it away to like friends and family or um, I'll send it to like e-bloggers for example who will give it to charity but I do have some little bits and bobs in here that I keep so I like to just choose an item like a little beauty product and put it in for whoever's bought the um, item is just like a little extra treat I guess so I'm gonna have a little look through and pick some bits out Is all my packages done i've actually just realized that i've still got the tag on ow, on this 
top so there we go take that off um now i have to do the dreaded task of actually going to the post office which i absolutely hate doing um i'm gonna wait until my hermes delivery driver comes because i've got a lot of deliveries due today and then i'm gonna go to the post office and then i need to film what time is it 10 past 12 okay we've got all day i also got a top up of some of my fave refi um brow product so this is jess hunt's brand if you didn't know and it is so good like honestly some of the best brow products i've ever used so i use them in shade dark and i've got the brow pomade brow sculpt and brow pencil and honestly they are just so good so i'm very happy to have a new top up on a serious level does anyone else make this much mess when they're trying to like get ready and find an outfit because i'm not being funny i was trying to plan something to wear for tomorrow and i've had on about 50 outfits i've been trying to find an outfit for about two hours i don't know how someone can have all these clothes and still not know what to wear actually i do know why it's because it's may and it's freezing outside so i can't cope with being cold but i also don't want to wear a teddy coat so it's a real issue um, so I need to just quickly sort this all out, still haven't been at the post office and I'm absolutely knackered. Okay guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude this week's weekly vlog. Really hope you enjoyed it. As always, everything I've spoke about will be linked down in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!